Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for December the 15th. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy, and after that, we'll pull one card for each sign, and we'll look at how those two energies play out together. There's our overall energy right there. Six of Swords showing up in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse is a card that talks about the idea of either making a lifestyle change, and a lifestyle change is something that I define as um, something that um, helps us to have a better lifestyle right now and also gives us the potential to um, have a longer life in the body that we're in right now. So lifestyle change. Um, this can be anything from eating better, reducing stress, yada, yada, yada. Now, the other way that this card can come up for me, too, this can come up as a card that indicates that in the past we've moved away from something that was causing us drama or holding us back, holding us down in some way. And now we could be moving back into that. We could be getting tempted into moving back into that dramatic thing. Okay, so let's see how it plays out for everybody here. We're going to start with Aries as usual. So Aries, Nine of Cups with that Six of Swords in reverse. So here's the thing, Aries. I think that quite a few of you, and if not you, then somebody in your sphere of influence um, is giving up some type of addiction, potentially alcohol with all those Nine of Cups tipped over. Um, so you could be deciding, okay, I'm not drinking anymore. This could be somebody in your sphere of influence who is deciding this as well, Aries. <clears throat> So it doesn't have to be you, it could be somebody else. If this is somebody else, it would be showing up in your spread because they do have some sort of significant influence over your life. So their decision to do this is going to change some things for you as well if this isn't you deciding to do this, okay? Next, we're looking at Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, Chariot, showing up in reverse. Um, Taurus, I really feel like uh, this could certainly be you. And I think that what could be happening here is that you are making a lifestyle change that is for the positive. And this could be that you're really getting focused on uh, whatever your priorities are. You're not letting your energy be scattered anymore. And so your lifestyle changes this idea of um, not being distracted and not being pulled off in a bunch of different directions, but really staying put and staying focused on whatever it is that you want to accomplish or whatever it is that's a priority in your life right now, Taurus. All right, next up, let's look at Gemini. So Gemini's High Priest showing up for you guys with that overall energy. Six of Swords in reverse. What's going on here? <laughs> Gemini's, I think somebody is giving you some kind of advice today that says, you know, if you would do such and such, that would make your life better. They're basically advising you to make a um, lifestyle change. Ba -ba -da -da. Yep, that's what I want to say about that. Next up, Cancer. You get to decide if you want to listen or not. It does look like good advice, though, Geminis. Now, Cancer's Ace of Pentacles showing up here. This is Cancer's. I think that some of you have made a lifestyle change in the past. And I think that when you made that change, maybe it wasn't the easiest thing. But I think that you're realizing that it was really a gift, that it really is has turned out to be a very beneficial thing. So you may not have even really wanted to make this lifestyle change. <laughs> now, in retrospect, you're starting to see, yes. So um, this might have been something that was forced even. But um, like I said, when you're looking back at it and looking at the impact it's had on your life now, now you're feeling like, okay, that was worth it. That was worth it. If I had that to do over again, I would do that. All right. So that's what I'm seeing for cancer. Next up, we're going to look at Leo. 
Leo, Princess of Pentacles, showing up here in reverse. <clears throat> So, Leos, it looks to me like you may be getting in some kind of news today about money or about material goods. That is not the type of news that we like to hear. And I feel like as we're getting this in, that has really got us thinking about going back into a situation that really wasn't the best for us, wasn't the healthiest situation. So we may be looking at doing some type of problem solving with this news about money or about material goods. And the solution that we're thinking of with going back to something that was dragging us down or holding us back, um, you know, we may want to think a little bit more outside the box today to come up with a different solution for that money situation. You know, is there something else that we can do besides going back to that old situation? Is there something else that we can do to to ease this money situation or to or to you know, heal it up to fix it. All right. That was who? Leo. Next, we're looking at Virgo. Two of Pentacles showing up in reverse for those of us with Virgo placements. Ba -ba -da -da. Virgos, I do think that we've made some type of um, change that is for the best here. And with the Two of Pentacles showing up here, it does show that it's going to be really tempting for us to sort of fall off of that change. It's going to be um, real easy today to say, oh, yeah, I don't really have to do that. I can let it slide a little bit. You know, so just when this comes up, it really is a heads up from spirit. Like, okay, you might want to think about the consequences and really weigh this out well. Don't. You know, make some plans and some backup plans about what are you going to do if this temptation happens or whatever, you know. Or if you're eating healthy, say, for an example, and you know you're going to be in a place where maybe there aren't going to be healthy options available. Maybe you think about doing some meal planning and taking a meal with you. You know, something along those lines. There's something here that you can do to... Um, to take the thunder away from the temptation that shows up here for you to, to fall off of this more healthy lifestyle that you've chosen. All right, so who is that? Virgo. Next up, we're looking at Libra. So Libra, Six of Wands with the Six of Swords in reverse. So there is some type of lifestyle change that you have made, and it is improving things for you, Libra. However, with that six of wands showing up in reverse, people aren't really noticing yet. They're not really giving credit yet. You might be really putting in the blood, sweat, and tears here, but other people aren't seeing it yet. Um, and yet is an important word that I'm getting for this particular reading. It's not one that I normally pull with this card. So this is more of a psychic influence rather than a tarot card influence. I do think that... Um, eventually people will notice what you're doing and they will appreciate it. But for right now, I think people aren't really holding their breath to see it last long term. So that's going to be, you know, all in your court to make whatever this change is last long term, you know, so that uh, eventually you'll get credit for it and you'll be acknowledged for it. But right now, I think there's a lot of people around you thinking it's too early to really say anything. If we say anything now, we could jinx it <laughs> and they don't want to jinx it for you. Okay. So next up, let's look at Scorpio. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So those of us with Scorpio placements, four of cups showing up in reverse. Scorpios, it looks like what we're doing is we're making a decision that we're going to start looking at things um, without focusing on the disappointments, but more looking at things about, you know, opportunities that are in front of us. We're making a decision today to really change our perspective on things and, and not stay in the, in the blahs and keep looking for the opportunities and moving forward with those. Sagittarius. Four of Pentacles showing up here. Sagittarius, I do think you're making some kind of lifestyle change today where you're allowing yourself to stash back something for the future. 
whether that's finances, whether you're stocking up on food, um, you know, in case you get snowed in or whatever it is, there's something that we see you stashing back. And this um, is a lifestyle change for you. So I think that you want to have things in reserves moving forward. And so you are actively uh, making that decision and beginning to put things in reserves so that you're not caught with your pants down in the future. Okay. And that was, that was Sagittarius. Next up is Capricorn. Capricorn, Five of Swords. Now this is interesting. I normally don't have a positive feeling with this card, but <laughs> when we combine it with this Six of Swords coming up the way that it feels to me on this spread, I feel like um, you're making a lifestyle change where you're starting to stand up for yourself, where in the past, Capricorn, maybe you didn't really stand up for yourself. Maybe you kind of, in certain areas of your life, I don't want to say in all areas, but in certain areas of your life, you kind of let people uh, rule. You let other people make the decisions. I think now you're kind of standing up for yourself. You're saying, you know what, really, I don't, I don't really like that color. I don't think I'm going to wear that dress or those slacks or whatever it is. You know, it may be little things for some of you. For others of you, it may be some pretty big things. Um, and I think that with this coming in as a lifestyle change, I think that this has been something that, you know, you have kind of chronically let somebody else decide for you. And I think now you're realizing, you know, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to decide. And so I see you standing up for yourself and really making some of those decisions um, for yourself moving forward. All right, so that was Capricorn. Next up, we're looking at Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, Six of Swords in reverse in the overall, plus the Lovers in reverse. What's going on here, Aquarius? Boop -a -doo -doo. Boop -a -doo -doo. Aquarius, I think that you're really reevaluating any partnerships that you're involved in today. And this can be marriage partnerships, although I really don't feel like that's what I'm talking about for most of you. Um, for a lot of you, this is going to be about friendships, possibly business partnerships. But I think you're really reevaluating and you're figuring out which ones are toxic for you and which ones are actually healthy for you. And I think that anything that is really toxic what you're doing is and when i say really i don't mean like extremely i mean actually actually toxic i think you are moving away from that and you're moving towards partnerships that um are better for you more healthy more uplifting more encouraging um partnerships that replenish you as you replenish the other person you know so more reciprocal things so that's what i see you doing today you're kind of thinning thinning out those partnerships that don't work today so that you can make space for partnerships that do work next up we're looking at pisces pisces you've got that six of swords coming up in the overall with the three of wands Pisces, I do think you're making some type of lifestyle change that is going to be um, potentially adding to the length of your life. And I think that as you're going into it, you're recognizing that this is not a short-term thing. This is definitely a long-term thing. And I think that you're strategizing and making plans about how you can make this work long, long, long-term. Okay. So I don't know if you're thinking about and planning your New Year's resolution or if, you know, this is a lifestyle change that you're making today and you're just really setting it in stone, setting it in concrete. But there's definitely something going on here where you're planning on making a, a lifestyle change that is um, going to be going for the long haul. That's your goal and purpose and your strategy here. All right. 
So that's what I have for everybody today. Thank you all so much for stopping by and spending some of your precious time with me. I do appreciate it. And remember, you guys are my wonderful sponsors. So put the thumbs ups, the shares, the subscribes, uh, comments down below. All of that good stuff helps me to be seen by more people. And I do appreciate it so much. Everybody have a fantastic day. And if I don't get to read for you in person today, well, maybe that'll be coming soon. Everyone, peace out.